Here we'll talk about jewel burn or electric mark. So it is a diagnostic of contact with the electricity. That means if you see jewel burn on any person, it is because of this electricity. So it is found at the point of entry of current. It is an endogenous thermal burn. What do you mean by endogenous thermal burn? Because of the external electricity, the heat is generated inside the body. So this heat generated inside the body is an endogenous heat from the external electricity. Right? So this is the endogenous thermal burn. So what is happening if you touch this electric pole? The electricity passes into your body and it creates heat. So that heat will cause some blisters. So these blisters are created by steam or heat or endogenously created. And when you stop the current flow, that means when you leave this pole, blisters will cool down and this collapses. So it leaves this crater or this dipped portion with the raised rim. So a crater is created with the surrounding raised rim. So it can be round shaped or oval shaped burns and shallow craters are created which are 1 to 3 centimeters in diameter and also the ridge of the skin which is raised surrounding the crater will be of 1 to 3 mm whereas the crater is 1 to 3 centimeter diameter here the ridge of the skin is of 1 to 3 mm and it covers the whole of their circumference. So this crater floor is pale colored flattened skin and surrounding which you have this raised margins and surrounding which you have this discoloration or the darkening or browning of the skin eventually if the current passes for the more time it will turn into charring and if the conductor is containing any copper then the electric mark have this bright green color remember it if the conductor is having copper then you can see this green color instead of brown color after the color you will see this hyperemic border outside the blanching and occasionally the spectrum of blister reddening pallor reddening is also seen first there is this crater floor which is pale color surrounding that you have this raised margin on the rim right after that you'll have this discoloration of the skin it can be brown or it can be green in cases where the conductor have copper after that you'll have this hyperemic border surrounding this coloring you'll have this hyperemic border Rarely you can also see the spectrum of blister reddening, pallor reddening. So this jaw burns sometimes have distinctive patterns. Sometimes it takes the shape of the container also. If the electric pole is at the right angles to your finger, suppose in this diagram, the electric wire is at the right angle to the finger. So in that case, it can create some puncture holes, right? So then this mark may present like a bullet hole, creating this circular hole, penetrating the skin, muscle and the bones. So sight, most exposed part of the body like palmar aspects on the hand, chest, etc. So it's basically you can see this jaw burns on the exposed part of the body. Medical legal significance, it is specific and diagnostic of contact with electricity. If you see a jaw burn, it is for sure because of this electric burn or electric mark. If the person has in contact with the electricity, you, you can say that for sure. So in the picture you can see, in the first picture this is a finger, electric wire is in contact with the finger then he can get this jaw burn where you have this central crater which is of pale zone surrounding that you'll have this raised border so this is about jaw burn bye